What's going on, pipe people? Happy Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Yes, yeah, Tuesday. Hope your weeks have uh, gotten off to a good start. This is my second time making this video. I made it yesterday and got home to upload it on the Wi Fi and deleted it by accident. <laughs> <laughs> it happens anyway this is a VR to sub dog millionaires subs contest congratulations man it's uh I think you said you did it in I think you have like 125 in three weeks or something like that um it's an awesome number and it's not a surprise at all I love your channel keep them coming This evening, I am smoking some Piper's Pleasure in my Brant uh, Panel Dublin sort of thing. Piper's Pleasure has been calling my name for the past couple weeks, and uh, I'm not a huge aromatic smoker, but when I do, it's, uh, it's normally Piper's Pleasure. It's old trusty for me. Uh, I'm heading out to a local B&M right now. Gonna see if they have anything interesting in stock. And, um, but yeah, like I said, the purpose of this video, I'll try and make this short. Some dog, some dog millionaire. He's got three great, great questions for us. Um, thank you, first of all, Tony, for the contest. Um, and if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to him, please go check him out and press that button. Uh, you won't regret it. So here we go. Three questions. First question. What is your favorite pipe shape? Mine, interestingly, interestingly enough, is not in my collection. I don't own my favorite pipe shape. Pipe shape. Um, I don't know how common that is, but in my case, it's just a matter of I haven't found the exact one. My favorite shape is a fully bent um, either ball or apple, um, maybe egg shape, and but a nose but a nose warmer at the same time. And I just haven't found the one yet. Um, but hopefully I will. I've seen a few that piqued my interest off the top of my head. I think, um, like most of them I see, most of them that I find have all been um, like three quarter bent. But I really like a full bend. I want one that just hangs, you know? Um, Hacker had one a, few, a little while ago. I think Bama Piper picked that one up. Uh, Eric, I think he picked that one up, which is just a beautiful pipe. Uh, Freddie Prido, I saw one on PipingAin'tEasy.com a little while ago and waited too long and someone else snagged it up. It happens. Uh, but next time, next time. Uh, anyway, so that's my favorite pipe shape. Pipe shape. Number two. And I believe number two was how frequently do you smoke? Uh, I probably smoke my pipe once a day on the way home from work. I would like to on the way to work, but I'm a little self-conscious about you know how much I'll smell like a pipe. So if you have any suggestions for something that smells great and isn't too overpowering by the time you get to work, um, please share them uh, and number three well I should say before I move on to number three I smoke much more on the weekend Saturday and Sunday I probably smoke two to three bowls um, 
yeah. Just a lot more free time. You can get outside. So I don't smoke inside. And number three. If you could buy any pipe and money was not an option, what would you buy? Well, I have to say that first of all, if money was not an option, I would buy more than one pipe. So I'm going to cheat on this, so just don't hold it against me. Um, Peterson's, what's it called? Starboard. It's a Titanic series. It's sort of like a bent um, poker, cherry wood type of thing. But the shank comes down to the bottom of the bowl. Uh, and it's got like a three quarter bend, I believe. It's just a gorgeous pipe. And I haven't seen that exact shape anywhere else. It's just, it's gorgeous. So if I had the money, I would buy that the whole series because it's really hard to find just that one. I think there are four pipes in the series. Um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. It comes, I think, in an ebony finish, um, a sandblast, and then it's smooth um, with your dark brown stain. And But the thing is, there is another company that makes a Titanic pipe that is pretty awesome, and that's Dunhill. Uh, and Dunhill's pipe, it comes in this huge box. And I saw it on someone's video. I don't know if it was if it was Theo Bacchinus when he was in England, or who it was, it was a while ago. And they walked into a shop and they had it there. It comes in a huge box, incredibly expensive as Dunhill's are. Um, this is a special edition pipe, so you can imagine how expensive it is. Um, sterling silver. But the kicker, The kicker is that, I don't know if it's the tamper or just a little memento that comes in the box, but it it's, uh, I think it's like a piece of glass and inside it is a piece of a chair or some type of furniture that was on the Titanic, which is just, it's just mind blowing. I'm a big history guy, so that's pretty cool to me. Um, so I would buy that. And then, <laughs> since money is not an issue, I would have to buy a Dunhill Christmas edition. Um, pipe the presentation alone I think it's just incredible the book how it unfolds like the red um, I don't know if it's like velvet or velour or whatever it is inside uh, the detail on the tampers that are included it's just it's ridiculous so I would definitely get one of those I don't ever foresee buying or being able to afford a Dunhill if the right one comes at a right price I would love to be able to but that's I cannot see that happening in the near future. Way out of my price range. Um, even the estates, which are going for crazy prices on eBay. I don't know if you've seen them. Um, so yeah, those are my answers. Congratulations again, Tony, uh, Subdog Millionaire. If you're not sub to him, go sub him. And uh, hope to see you all soon.